Okay, we got the Ben SF and the George Bush pulling the lighted El Capitan um, Super Chief caboose or last car. Here we come. Ben SF, George Bush, and light. Yeah, there's light on all of them. Let's slow that sucker down. Oh, let's get it up here first. Then we'll slow it down as it comes by. See it pulls in the skis real. Yeah, that's it. George Bush. Or Daddy Bush, as I like to call him. And, uh, a Super Chief car with lighted. Uh, you know, it's the caboose, so. Which they do not have anymore. If you notice, there is no such thing as a caboose. There we go. Very much so. George Bush 41, and then the lighted super chief. And it goes around. See, I didn't break that BNSF one in properly, so I'm running this for about an hour. I didn't know you were supposed to do this, I just found out down at the train shack where I buy all this stuff. You know who goes there? Peter Moose, who used to work for Kiss, and Paul Stanley. And some other rock guys. Everybody that lives in the Hollywood Hills goes to the train shack in Burbank. So I go there, and then uh, in Utah, there's a place in Ogden that I go to. That's actually a house. Two houses. One of them is a guy who runs his uh, thing, his business, and the other one is just the entire house is filled with trains. He doesn't live in either of them. One's the business and one's just for training. Pretty amazing. And his daughter, our granddaughter that works there, has got a thing for my son. And I'm like, you know, I could use that <laughs> to my advantage, boy. But he's got other things going on. And he's 35, so I can't really tell him what to do. Alright, so we'll speed it up. And then we'll slow it down as it comes around this turn so you can get a good look at it. And the film's coming up there, looking great. Here it goes, so we just slow it down. These things can go to a crawl. But, like I said, the NSF isn't broken. But it's still good. See, that's nice and slow. And go even slower. Now, if I had the digital command control, it would be making, you know, and all that kind of engine noises and all sorts of crap. So I got to get that control once I'm uh, done buying that damn car. I'm not in a big hurry. Actually, you know, it's not bad being home and hanging out with the family for a a couple of weeks without taking off to <laughs> wherever, getting out of California. What do you guys think of the missile strike today? Pretty cool, huh? No, I don't know. Iran has the lamest missiles. I mean, really? He shot over 12 missiles and they all of them hit nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. That's good. All we did is had two little drones sitting there waiting for that dickhead to get out of his car, or to get in his car, and then we just blew him to hell. I don't care what side you're on. That was a good move. And then their response was totally whipped. And, yeah. Like I said, no politics. 
definitely no politics on my guitar site, but guitar train, it's all, you know, hobbies, and I see that there's people that jump, jump to both. They'll watch me burn a guitar, they'll watch my trains. So you said, did you, so, I think it was, I'm not going to get it wrong, I'm going to look it up. Um, so when I made my last train video, somebody asked me, uh, do you have the KISS train set? And I said, yes, I do have the whole entire KISS train set. Well, there's three versions, actually. I've got the first one. HO, scale, digital, DCC, and all that crap. What do you guys think about that? The, uh... I think it's cool until you realize, wait a minute, that's, the whole video is not really them, so that's, but we're, we're crossing streams here, let's look at that, very good, very good, and I forgot what I was talking about, so let's just end it, check out my, uh, little yard here and stuff, wait, let me run, and that's the yard yard, and that's the control room. I'm moving a lot of stuff in this area. Over to the bigger track now, since I'm running out more consistently. Running consist on the consistent track. Later, Gator. Oh, so yes, I did see Randy Rhodes. Uh, his train said he had a Z scale, which is smaller than these. That's this is HL. This is N. That's N. He had Z, which is smaller than this, just a little smaller, and it's expensive as hell and really hard to work with. And his was from the you know 70s, 80s, or yeah, mainly 70s. But if you bought the really expensive ones, they ran like little watches. They ran perfectly, but if anything went wrong, good luck fixing it. So I was always into N gauge, narrow gauge. For N scale, and that's what all these are N scale. So yes, I did see Granny's trains at his house. And uh, he showed me he had N Z, he had N scale, I think he had some HO. He just like model trains. And then, yes, I do have the KISS trains. There you go. And that question came from... Oh, gosh, I know I can see this. And get some reactions from that uh, that white sister video. We got Jason Hunt. He's trying to learn it, and he will because he's good. Uh, where's my train? Something had to. I know someone commented. I put out so many stupid videos. Michael, those are trains. Did you hear? Do you have the KISS trains? Yeah, so it was Paolo Vincent. So yes, Paolo. I've got the KISS trains, and I saw Randy's Z-Scale. And there you go. There's Big Turd. Why? Oh, it's because it's on pause. There you go. Metal. Metal. Trains. Metal. Trains. Z this is actually worth a lot of money. This is it. And that one up there is worth even more. Tin plate. It's an old YML tin plate. Oh my god. And that's just a drone copter. All I got is toys in here. Storage room. Where I hang out. I got four computers and this TV and no trains. 
Later.